This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. I'm so excited to be here. I love early in the morning recordings. I told that to my guests. I do. I love early in the morning recordings because I'm not trying to get up at no damn two o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? I'm already, I'm up at seven. I'm going to be here. Let's get this over with. All right. So thank you for being here early. I appreciate it. Plus you're a businessman, so you get up early all the time anyway, I'm sure. You're up all, the, you're up all kinds of hours. Have, yeah. And okay. you were up all kinds of hours yesterday too. I told you, if you get too drunk and you don't show up to the recording, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't drink too much yesterday. Okay. So. I'm good, I'm good. Well, thank you for not drinking too much yesterday. I appreciate <laughs> it. Now, before we continue with this exciting episode of The Public Affair, my very special guest, um, I definitely want to use this opportunity to thank Rogue Media Network for all they do for me in the show. I truly appreciate it. Of course, Mason is here producing this episode recording. Thank you, Mason. You're the best being here this early, tolerating me. Um, and of course, to all of you guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for all the love and support that you continue to show the show going on four years. We were just talking about that off camera. I know. I know. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. But anyway, um, now before we continue, let me give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This part, I'm, I like this part, right? <clears throat> this episode is brought to us by David Santa Banyas with a linear real estate. He is the number one sales agent in his office. That's why right. he's going to help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook or just call the number on the screen. If you guys don't know what you're doing when you're trying to buy a house, David's going to walk you through the process step by step. Y se habla español también to my boy. David with Alinea, call the number on the screen and get started today. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to show the show. And thank you for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Anika Armstrong or Armstrong's Bayou Cafe, serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cakes, pasta, seafood, and more. My favorite is any pasta that you can get there. Don't ask me which pasta, just any pasta that you can get there, okay? I love her pasta, just bursting with flavor and just melts down your throat and it's so irresistible and insatiable. I love it. If you go to locations at Union Hall and on Union Grove, you can follow at Armstrong's Bayou Cafe Corporation as well. Um, Anika Armstrong, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Manny Guerrero, Blue Star RV Services. Listen, M Manny, who was on my last episode, is a mobile RV tech who can fix all RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and so much more. He deals with the warranty company, so you don't have to, all right? Him and his team take care of all of that just pay them a small little service fee and they're going to get your rig back up and running especially them broke down food trucks that you guys have no ac and it's the summertime and we're trying to order cheeseburgers and no ac follow on facebook call the number on the screen of blue star rv services thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to cbd plus usa with my boy tyler hyde located at 2444 west loop 320 in the central texas marketplace in waco i love saying it sound like a radio commercial i love saying it like that you enjoy high quality products with a wide range of top of the line cbd thca delta a delta nine kratom and more listen if you're unsure about the products and the benefits that they can give to you. He's going to educate you as well. Check him out. Discover the natural benefits of their premium products to CBD Plus USA. Tyler Hyde, thank you so much for all you do for me and the public affair. And of course, to Selco Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez, who I, I didn't turn my phone off. The coach just texted me. Uh, coach Maral Maldonado, shout out to you. <laughs> located at 3304 Franklin Avenue, they offer team, small group, and individual skills training. They also have elite skills training to make your kids superb star athlete. Listen, they even have occasional open plays on Mondays and Wednesdays in case you're you know, trying to go out there and get your game on, all right? Follow on Facebook at Soka Soccer Academy. And a big shout-out to um, professionals like Jordan DeLeon who are, you know, making your kids Superb, you know what I mean? G going out there doing your oh, you're a soccer coach too. We're gonna get into that in just a yeah. second. All right, and big shout out to the Soko soccer teams who are playing right now. Like I said, they just texted me. Shout out to Coach Maro Maldonado. A big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of anything that you guys can do in terms of sponsorship. Always rooting for you, Coach. Um, do your thing. You and the kids are absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for letting the public affair be a part of anything that you guys have going on. Anything. I truly appreciate it. And congrats to all that you are achieving, bro. Proud of you. A um, big shout out to my very very special guest. He does every single thing in town. He's just telling me that he does music too. I'm like, oh, what you got to album to promote and stuff <laughs> listen he's the owner of agua water llc right. um wooden thumb handyman services Correct. there was also a paint business that i just forgot to jot the name down of Pretty and well. he's a uh, yeah pr premier painting mm -hmm. okay. and then he's also a singer songwriter as it turns out as well <laughs> family man dad soccer coach he is an icon as it turns out and i'm so happy to finally have mr fernando ramirez here on the, the public affair how you doing how you doing i'm doing good man doing good beautiful yeah. day today for sure yeah. blessed to have another day yeah exactly it's sunday morning yes, i'm so happy that you said that you would be here this early in the morning. I know that you were booked and busy this week, and I know that you had the soccer game yesterday. I know that you had the dad's 60 or 21st birthday party yesterday. So I saw you guys all drinking. And I, thank you for not getting hungover, please. <laughs> you know how much that, you know how many times that's happened? <laughs> Where they have had to cancel on me because they're hungover or whatever? I'm not much of a big drinker, though. Oh, you're not? No. Okay, so good. I mean, here recently, yeah, uh, I have yeah. had a few 
extra shots that I probably should not take him, but yeah, yeah. I'm not much of a drinker. Is, so. is, there a per, is there a reason for that, Fernando? I mean, you don't look any older than 22 years old, mm. so, you know. It's not I like just, you have any health issues. I guess just the way you grow up sometimes. You know, you okay. grow up seeing people drinking a lot. You're like, it gets old. It gets old. Not for me. It gets old, right? It gets old. Some of my friends still be on Snapchat. Listen, I'm that person that I get up at like 4 or 5 in the morning, right? That's just the time I get up. And they be on Snapchat at the clubs, the strip clubs, liquor bottles, shots. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, thank you again for being here. And thank I, you. Thank you for I, having me. I think me. that having you on the show was really, truly long overdue. I don't, I'm sorry that I slept on you for so long. Oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah. I enjoyed every single episode you've done. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. You did say that you've been following the show since yes, it came sir. out four years ago. So I really, I, I never know who really is doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so I really appreciate that thing. So, I mean, you know, Ken, thank you again for being here. Um, definitely want to dive right into it. Um, you know, we did meet last year at the fair. I think that was our first time meeting in person. No, the first time we we met oh, was at, uh oh, I don't I can't remember who I really I believe it was Caitlin that was opening that smoke shop. Oh yeah on Waco Drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh we, we did meet there, but I was yes. on the radio. Yes. Because yes, so when I was on part okay, so I don't remember that. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was you, you know fun fact. <laughs> that was 2020. That was in 2020 because that's yes. when I quit. Because that was my last radio. So I did that remote and then quit, fired, whatever, <laughs> that following Monday. Gotcha. <laughs> or I should say that following Wednesday. Hey, but look what you're at now. You, you know what? It's a blessing. Yes, it is. No, it truly is a blessing. I went through a pretty, that was pretty rough. <laughs> you know, to have been let go of that job or quit. It's up for debate. It is up for debate. But whatever. <laughs> we clarified that. Anyway, listen, Fernando, for anybody who is watching this episode, like, who is this man that you have on the show? Can you just introduce yourself to us and a little bit about who you are, please? Well, um, I guess my name is Fernando Ramirez, yeah. the obvious. <laughs> uh, I'm a businessman here in Waco, Texas. I've yes. uh, been doing business for the past 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of the reason I started is because my father. Yeah. He was working at a big construction company here in Waco. And okay. He had his dream of sure. doing his own thing. Uh, you know, unfortunately, he. He doesn't speak a lot of English mm. and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. You're going to do I'm your just, thing. I'm just going to give it a try. I mean, I've been doing construction with him since I was 12. Oh, is that so, right? Yeah. So uh, I know I've been around, seen a lot of different <laughs> things. I know. Uh, we're we're going to get into the, you know, the construction workers have the shit. And you guys go through the most. One of my yeah. friends just was going through the most not too long ago. And we talked about it at dinner. I said I was going to say it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I feel like you construction guys, you contract Like, you got, if you sit down and piss, they're all attacking you on social media. Yeah. 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 Y you know what, though? Okay. Like, the other day, uh, somebody uh, called me. They were like, hey, we want to we wanna get you on our magazine. Oh. And I was like, okay. Okay. Dude, shit you not. Yeah. She was like, people don't really look at this magazine. Mm. The number one people that looks at the magazine is your competitor. And that kind of opened my eyes a little bit. Wow. You know what I mean? It's like. Can, what's, wait, what's the magazine? You got to spill the tea. Like, you can't just be doing that to us. <laughs> okay. And who's the competitor? No, so no, it's, no, so yeah, it's a it's, magazine about contractors in Waco. Okay. You I know, didn't know that. But, yeah. you know, but she was like, the number one people that look at it is other contractors. Oh, I see. To see what you're going to put out there, what you're going to say, okay, how you're okay. going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that just opened up my eyes. I was like, mm. I don't want to be in it. Oh, okay. You know, do like, you think nah. that that was going to be a negative experience yeah, for you? Yeah. You know, it's like. Wait, do you think that there was malintent? Behind inviting you on the magazine, I think so. Like trying to stir some shit up, Sometimes, yeah. Is that right? Uh, you know, so I was like, nah, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Word of mouth is the best thing. Yeah, definitely. Like, just do a good job. They'll refer you to. Wait, well, now person. I'm confused. So, what was the point of that then? Like, was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, no. You nah. just okay. And, I mean, like you said, construction is bad. Yeah, you know, everywhere. Yeah. Whoever start, whoever's doing a construction job. Yeah. My heart truly goes. out. And let me tell you something. People get so mad at me for defending these contractors and stuff like that. No, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Like I, I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, well, we're gonna get more into it in a minute because I do. I, I want to know if maybe contractors are the common denominator or are these people really just doing the most? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd love to get your opinion on that. You know, no bashing nobody. I just, yeah. you know, but like to get that. Listen, early, early life for you though. Um, you. So I read that you went to Midway. You're, so you're from this area. I went Graduated to Midway too. Midway. Okay, so. Back in 2000, so that back shows your age because I was in elementary school. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I wonder because I moved to Midway when I was, um, and, and I, I'm so happy to know that you went there because um, just a lot of my recent guests went to Midway as well. And there's people that I grew up with, and I don't have a lot of people on the show that I grew up with. And so, for that matter, what, I, what I'm leading to say is that back in 2005 to 2009, Midway was a little bit more conserved, right? Yes. So, so the likes of me walking around was a little bit. <laughs> but what about for you, back, you know, oh, digging man. back further? You know what I so mean? So I grew up in Chicago. Oh, okay. So I, we, I literally went from an all black and Mexican school. Yeah, right. You know, so then, <laughs> so then my parents moved us to Texas to okay. Midway. Did I shit you not? I was like the only, like the third Mexican there. Yeah. And maybe like two Black people there. Yeah. So, like, walking in there, I was like, 
blonde hair everywhere. It's crazy, you know, right? I was like, fuck, there's gold on people's hair? You know? like, I, and then didn't even know how to say my name. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, Fernando. I'm like. You didn't think that was hot? No. I was no. like, it was embarrassing. I was like, oh, my you God. You weren't trying to bag a snow bunny? Like, like, <laughs> like, mom, why'd you name me that? She named yeah. me something simple, like no, no. Jose or something. Well, no, it, it, because I'm from New York. And so when I moved to Midway, it was the same thing. I grew yeah, up in man. a predominantly, it was black, Mexican, uh, Salvadorian, um, Ecuadorian, Colombian. Then I go to Midway. It's all white people, all white, yeah. right? And I, I don't, th- I don't think by any means. And we talked about this on the show that I was personally discriminated against. I just don't think that they were as, um, oh, how do I put this? Like I evolved in terms of like culture. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. D- to be honest with you, man, mm-hmm. I never got discriminated in school. Okay. Like everybody was cool. Yeah, everybody was nice. But to were me. you the star soccer player? No. <laughs> oh, no, you were. <laughs> no. So, for, so were you their secret weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I was in boxing back then. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I was in boxing. My mom put me in boxing. So okay. I did a lot of boxing. I was a hot head back in the day. Yeah, you yeah. Know. You're young and dumb. Were you back, were you fighting and stuff like that? Yeah, or is that so really? I was, I was in fights like You seem so weekend. level-headed. I would never get that from you. Mm, I can be. It's okay. Just, oh. You know, some people like to push too much oh yeah i've said on my last episode fernando that a lot of these bitches are only making it because i have this show you better thank god the public affair is where it's at today otherwise i'd be taking bitches out left and right so just <laughs> some things don't deserve a response am, yeah. I, am i right or am i right that's right that's right, that's right. especially as you anyway yeah. no response is a response you know what they say it drives them crazy <laughs> I, dry, I talk to my best friend mar about it all the time i was like you know because he's a hothead too or was a hothead and i was like you know you just got to learn to just like but now he's teaching me that because now i'm becoming a little bit more vocal so i'm going against all my own advice and he's like bro you have to learn to shut the fuck up yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's true it's true it's true because it's true. All the, yeah so anyway so you were back in boxing so that was a good a healthy way for you to, it to was, channel a lot of that it yeah. was you know and then i i enjoyed i enjoyed working out i've always had okay i mean i remember when that terminator movie came out i was like oh my god you know, i, I want to look that. like that yeah <laughs> you know so i'm I'm in the front of the mirror. I'm going to yeah. say, well, I was 11 years old. Okay. Flexing every other Oh, God. You were one day. of those. Yeah. yeah. See if it grew. You're still working out these days? Man, I haven't worked out in the past three months. I'm currently yeah. going through a little minor situation on my leg. I'm, oh, I'm probably going to have a surgery. So you can still work me, out. You can still work out. Yeah. I broke my whole foot and I was working out. Well, they, they told me not. They told me I can't. You can do upper body. I'm, I, they told me I can't do no kind of like. Yeah, my trainer. my doctor told me to stay in bed for six months. Yeah. I recorded an episode of the public for the next day. I was like, fuck <laughs> you, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Dead in my ass. Well, I can't right. go back to the gym tomorrow, then. <laughs> yeah, go to the, you could go to the gym. You'll be all right. Okay. Yeah. That's an excuse. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> this, how how was the family life growing up for you though? Like, I mean, so you mentioned that dad didn't speak a lot of English. I mean, you guys <laughs> mo- went to Midway, moved from Chicago, and so it leads me to believe that you lived in, Hue- in the Hewitt area, which is predominantly caucus. And so how did you guys blend in? I mean, did it cause any strife within the family or anything like no, that? No, not really, man. No. I mean, my dad would take me or my brother everywhere to tra- help him translate. Oh, okay. You know, pay, you know, back then you couldn't just pay the bill over right. the phone. Yeah, yeah. So we would go, like, he would take us, you know, pay, you know, we would just say what he wanted and pay okay. the bill, blah, blah, blah. But no, we, we never experienced anything remotely. To be honest with you, we I experienced more... Uh, discriminated in Chicago than I did here. Really? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, everybody was... I guess you got to meet my dad, too, though. My, yeah. Everybody loves my dad, man. Okay, you should have brought him. We could have had a Spanglish he, episode. <laughs> he's just one thinking. of those people, like, he mm-hmm. draws positive energy. He's a very positive okay. person. Yeah, definitely. So I guess that helped a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, he gets along with everybody. Well, big happy birthday to him. Yesterday was the birthday. Thank you, thank so, you, you know, you should have brought him here for his birthday. That would have been a, the best birthday present ever <laughs> to have been on the number one podcast in Waco, right? <laughs> okay, so okay, so main discrimination, so no no big issues or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, let's, let's fast forward a little bit. Um, I understand that you're coaching soccer. So, yeah. I've coached football and basketball before. Okay. Uh, I don't coach soccer. But oh. So you lied son, to me yesterday. Okay, bad. My son. <laughs> <laughs> so you lied to me. That's fine. No, no, no. So my son is in a, he, you know, we signed him up for a soccer team. Mm. My son and uh, mother, two boys. Yeah. And uh, the, the they couldn't find a coach. Oh, okay. They couldn't find a coach. So sure. if, I, if, if one of the parents didn't step up, then mm. they weren't going to get to play. Oh, I see. So I was like, you know what? I'll do it. Yeah. I'll step up and do it. So Okay. You know, I told them, hey, I never coached soccer before. So, I mean, I played it. I never coached it. Yeah, yeah. So, they're like, hey, they're eight years old. You just got to teach them the fundamentals, you know, kicking right. the ball, guarding the 
the pose, et cetera. Et okay, cetera. got you. So, so that's that's where. What's we're the at, team uh, name? That sounds close to the, the age Texans. group that I sponsored. The Texans. The Texans. Okay, who? who oh, well, I guess there is no coach. You are the coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm the new coach yeah, now. Yeah. So, <laughs> new kid in town, I guess. I don't know. Like with the show, I've gotten so involved in soccer. Like I said during my advertisements, the coach actually just texted me, and which I shouldn't have done. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I got so involved in that community. So I thought that was something that we can relate to. But no. So do you? Did you play football and basketball back in the day? Where you uh, know how back, to back yeah? in the day, but you know. I love football, man. I love yeah. basketball. But football is my favorite sport. You know, people wouldn't believe that I like football too. I do. Like I'm no gay shit. I like, never hear you talk about football. Well, I, soccer. Well, because I would play football. I only talk about soccer because <laughs> fuck, <laughs> they're not playing football. I like football. <laughs> I thought you just had somebody, uh, was it? I had Ahmad Dixon. Yes. yes Ahmad Dixon right. on the show right. who, who talked about his failed NFL right, career, right. Which, which I thought was so vulnerable. Interesting and so, story, too. Wasn't though. it great? Yeah. Did you love it? Yes. You know what? You know what really it took me from that? And I, and I wanted to talk to you about this, too, because, you know, as, again, we talk about the contracting and the new experience with the magazine and everything, is that there's people that are really out there to just kind of, like, tear you down on purpose because they don't want to see you succeed. And it That's was true. And it was unfortunate from what I gathered in his conversation was that he almost succumbed to that. Like, there was that person pretty much succeeded in tearing him down let's jump right into it how often have you had to deal with that oh man a lot really i mean because think about it man nobody, mm. nobody really wants to see you succeed right and everybody and anybody that says they want to is bullshit really you know what i mean like okay. especially when it's one of your competitors or or somebody that you're really close to oh it's usually somebody that you're really close is to. is that right you know like they just don't want it man they don't want it for you mm, that, and that's so interesting that you talk about that too because i'm not personally but i know of somebody going through something similar right and so it, it was somebody that they were close to and they, they almost had a falling out do you know what i mean yeah. and uh, over the same thing yeah. and so it, it's unfortunate because i kind of agree with you fernando but then i also kind of disagree right because like the people that i'm really close to i really do want to see them succeed um, and then in podcasting right like uh, there's obviously like this natural competitive, competitive like you know like okay we have to not fight but you know we're all trying to be up here you know what i mean but i'm also not tearing anybody down yes yeah so yes. What, what's what's the experience that you had where you know maybe you were close with somebody and you know it's kind of like to be honest with yeah. you man it's just uh i guess some people like to lie okay you know what i mean and i don't know if they do it to make themselves look better. greater okay. or look better you know what i mean by breaking you down mm -hmm. when <laughs> literally like that was not the case. Right, right. You know, and and I run into that a lot. Oh, wow. You know, like I'm, I'm a good hearted person, man. I like to help people out. Like yeah. you said, I, I want people to succeed. Yeah, I want yeah. people to be, to have something in life. At the end of the day, that's all we want. So, you know, but then when you backtrack and you say, you know, even sometimes the people closer to you or, or, or if they say they want to see you succeed, it's bullshit. Do you think that it's um, about face where maybe they think opposite of you? Or, so you're saying on the show, I want to see you succeed, but do you think that people thought that you maybe presented a behavior that suggested otherwise. I never, never thought about that before. To yeah. be honest with you, I'm like maybe it's something I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Tell the magazine to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you know, sometimes it could be the way you carry yourself. Okay. You know, some you know some people might portray it as something different that you okay. really are not trying to put out there. Yeah, you I know? got you. So. Most definitely. Oh God, this is building up to a lot like that. I really wanted to talk to you about, but you know, you know, with that, you weren't always your own boss. No. I mean, sure, you've had jobs and stuff like that, yeah. and so um, becoming your own boss, though, because now you know, it has to put context into why you feel the way you feel about it now, right? And so, in the beginning, what what made you the decision? What made you make the decision to do that? My dad. I, okay. My father. Yeah. Yeah, like he kept talking about it, man, and like we would literally go do a job, and I I know. I know my dad's worth, I know my worth, and mm -hmm. I know it's like, man, he's not getting paid enough, we're not getting paid enough. Yeah. You know, like, we're doing all the work. Yeah. You know, so finally I was like, I'm done. Okay. Like, to do were you working pay. for another contractor? Yes. Or? Oh, yeah, okay, we're, gotcha. we're working for a big contracting company here in Waco. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, literally, they will send me all the way to Florida, and I will manage 16 guys. Right. You know, to do work the hurricanes or whatever, like, mm -hmm. and I was in charge. You know, And, and you weren't getting paid nothing. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't getting paid enough, and I finally mm -hmm. was like, yeah. This is this has got to go. This has got to go. Yeah, yeah. Like, was it scary jumping into uh, to your own thing or? My last check was three hundred and eighty seven dollars from the job. From the job. Wow, that's it. That's it, man. That Damn. was it. that was back in two thousand seven. You can't do nothing with three hundred eighty dollars, <laughs> like. So I I spent a hundred bucks, made me a sign. Okay. And. 
And from there, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just went off. So you know? Fernando started his own business out of a hundred dollars, hundred bucks, and here we are making excuses <laughs> 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 with our five hundred dollars in our pocket. I used my stimulus check to start the public affair. If you want me to be honest, hey. yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> like, you, and to be that's really how you get somewhere, man. Yeah. by investing in yourself, you have to, and even even if it's a little bit, yeah. And you know the problem today is people think it's gonna happen so fast. Yeah. like it takes time. Yeah, I mean four years. It's mm -hmm. been four years for you. Well, you know, and I'm happy that you say that. It's been four years, and I'm very open about the fact. I still work a regular job, too, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so while there's still sacrifices that are being made, that's part of it. That's part Do of it. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm blessed to have sponsorship that helps the production keep going and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, business is business. Business is business. And it's difficult. Yeah. And, and there's even people that, you know, they, they do see the show, you know, because you said it. And, and they think that they'll get – this took a lot of hard work. This took a lot of hard work. Not getting on my knees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, people want to think. Like, this took a lot of hard work. And I still, anyway, this is about you. So, <laughs> you know what, Fernando? Um, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. So, beforehand, though, you, you mentioned that you were doing the construction. Okay. And so, um, what was the final straw for you that said, you know what? I'm, I'm not working for another person anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Was there a situation, a specific situation that happened? Or was it simply just about the money? Uh, I don't, I don't think there was a situation because, like I said, uh, I, I just got tired of working so hard mm -hmm. and not seeing anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not not growing, not especially my father, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I say, you know, he's I love I love the man. You know, he's he's my best friend. Mm -hmm. So just seeing him, I'm like, man, I got to do something. Okay. You know, I got to. There's something I got to do. Yeah, definitely. You know, if he can't do it, I, I'm pretty. I, I I got the tools. You know. Yeah. I can do it. You're giving me anxiety because <laughs> I feel like you have a lot to get off your chest, and we're about to get a lot off his chest here in a minute, guys. But we're gonna take a quick break so I can get me a drink of water, <laughs> wash my face because I I just I feel the energy in him. That's that, that he was waiting to come on this show. He's got some shit to say. So you know what, you know what guys? We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, we're gonna have more of my very special guest, Mr. Fernando Ramirez, here on the Public Affairs. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, where we left off at? Yeah, no, no, we're gonna do that. As, <laughs> Fernando, you're, you're making me really nervous. No, because I, I like I, I want to talk to you about this. I really do because, yeah. and I really want your like humble, honest opinion once we get into it um welcome back to the public affair <laughs> you guys as you can see fernando has me very very nervous very <laughs> shaky very sweating i had to go put some deodorant on um, before the break <laughs> now before we continue with this exciting episode i definitely want to use the opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to us by junior anabana with banda styling service they run dump trailers that's right you're gonna fill it up they haul it away they also do junk removals and tree brush removals and they haul cars in and out of town that's right they're off they're also offering roll off dumpster services as well perfect for big get-togethers um and you know you guys oh you guys had that party yesterday you can yes. use the big dumpster i'm sure there's trash everywhere now you have to go back and clean it up and listen just look now with the number on the screen save their phone number bandas hauling service thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to my boy osier penguin benitez with fun town rv the best in rv sales that's right penguin works overtime to make sure you and your family are situated and settled in the best rvs suited for you i'm talking about toy haulers travel trailers fifth wheels and so much more all right <laughs> listen yeah listen the summertime's coming around you want to go camping make sure you get a nice little camper with, 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 with penguin all right follow penguin's cool rv deals and and tips on Facebook to Penguin. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Oh, to Fernando de la Rosa with Big Bear Lawn Care, small landscaping business. Listen, the lawns are a hot-ass mess. Nobody wants to be going out there to 100 degrees and cutting the lawn, right? Just let Fernando come out there and do a splendid job at it. That's right, mowing, edging, mulching, and so much more. Call them on the screen for a free quote. Se habla español también. He just told me he spoke Spanish. So to Fernando de la Rosa, Big Bear Lawn Care, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Myra Rosales with Strike a Pose Photography, a digital photo booth business, perfect for parties, private events, corporate events, and so much more. That's right, it's fun, it's convenient, it's easy. She She's also offering digital customized invitations and movement forms as well. I'm talking about e-cards. Why are you going to go print out cards? Listen, we're in 2024. Let her make digital cards for you so that way you guys can invite everybody to the wedding. And don't go to the weddings with the, the promotions that I do. That's just promotion. Don't be showing up to the <laughs> wedding talking about Andrew G sent you. No, I didn't. All right, listen. To Maya Rosales, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And, of course, to Alonso Flores with World Stretch Therapy. Listen, I'm old stretch therapy and massaging 100% certified and professional. I love getting a nice stretch from Alonso, especially after an intense workout because I do a lot of CrossFit. And he comes he comes to you 100% professional, puts a table out at your house, and stretches you out, massages you, and everything is perfect for athletes or just anybody who's tight and needs to loosen up. Say, I'm going to Follow on social media and call the number on the screen to book World Stretch Therapy. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, I'm back with my very special guest, Fernando de Ramirez. Listen, I'm just, I'm, um, I'm just really shocked at how open you are. 
I really, I, I guess because I only see, like, we only interact on social media. Social and media. So, yeah, and so, like, you, you, everything with you is, like, family and the business, right? But but at the end of the day, you're a business owner. You're in, um, you know, contracting, construction, you know, whatever. You're in everything, basically. <laughs> okay, let's just dive right into it. Um, you guys have the shit end of everything. And it seems as if every so often I log on and there's a, contract it could be anybody i've seen it with everybody i have contractors that sponsor this show i have contractors that have sponsored the show in the past that have gotten a lot of heat on social media and stuff like that what is what's your thought on everything that's going on with you guys do you think that these contractors really are doing some shitty work or do you think that people are just doing the most and just want attention well if you referring to some of the contractors that <laughs> just happened last year yeah i think they fucked up okay you know i think they I think they, uh, money, man, it's money. It's money. Okay. It's money. And money is the problem. You know what I mean? Like, you get a check for $30,000, and next thing you know, you're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know. So that, that happens. That then. happens. Okay, gotcha. It you. hasn't happened to me, but yeah. I've had some friends that started a business, and mm -hmm. that's what happened. Okay. They got the money in their hands, and, and man, money changes people. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I, I think that's what it is. And, and you also got to look at people's backgrounds, mm -hmm. you know. Where they what they did before they started a business. Some, sure. Most of the time that carries over. Okay. Or how they run their business. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not gonna say any names, but right. you know, it, the same shit happened. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? No, no, man. Okay. Uh, luckily I've never I never had a complaint, never had anybody mm -hmm. report me in any type of way or nothing mm -hmm. like that. I always aim to 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 please the customer. Yeah. At some jobs I have lost. Okay. Because, you know, my priorities to make sure that they're happy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, don't get me wrong, there has been some customers that it got heated. Sure. And it, it just, just got to the point where we were not understanding each other. Okay. And, and that happens. Yeah. You know, sometimes you meet somebody and you're like, oh, great, this is what we want, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Fernando, you're amazing, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. then some, you know, this didn't get order in time or mm -hmm. she doesn't like the outcome of how she thought it was going to look. Yeah. So it, it creates, you know, like tension, stress, tension, tension yeah. and stress. But you know, so then what did you do different than that didn't get you? But because it's it's it would sound as though like, as far as the dissatisfied customer experience when it comes to contractor, I feel like when I see the blasting on social media and I see like you know everybody tearing this person's that because it's more than one business. Um, it seems like it's for a lot of the same thing. Either they did a shitty job and then you know whatever the case is. But in in your case, it sounds like. The customer wasn't happy with the job that you did, but nobody blasted you. Right. So, I mean, did you just whoop their ass or like? No. <laughs> and look, it comes back. It comes back down to the money part again. Okay. And, and that's the main part, man. So, for example, most of the time when a client is not happy, is because of shitty material. Mm. You buy shitty material, so the outcome of the job's not going to be the same. Okay. Um. Again, the money part. You get a job, and if you know that this job is going to cost you $7,000 in this particular phase of the job, right? Okay. Well, somebody's like, hey, you know what? I don't want to spend the $7,000. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go spend the $3,000. Mm -hmm. Well, you just fucked up right there mm. because you're not going to get that quality job that you promised your customer. Okay, so you're talking about on the contractors. Yeah, correct. So they're getting $7,000 to, like, okay, like let's just say, for instance, Fernando, build my bathroom. Correct. Give me a shower with, you know, the seat, whatever, whatever. I'm going to give you $7,000, but you only spend $3,000. $3, so seven, six, so basically you pocketed $4,000. Correct. To just do whatever you want with it. To do whatever you want with it. So then, with, so then well, okay, yes, that, that is shitty. Right. right. Yes, That's shitty that because is shitty. you get yeah. shitty material, you put in a... a I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to say a shitty person or somebody no, no, yeah. that's not skilled enough. It's just the the work they do is not great. So where do you profit from then? Like, so I, I would expect you when you give me a quote like that to have something there for you to be making money out of. Right, and and, yeah. and all of us do. I don't know about four thousand. <laughs> all of us, exactly. yeah, you know what I mean? but, because look, man, a yeah. lot of these people they 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 uh, <laughs> they focus on one job. They mm. focus on, oh, how much am I going to get out of this one job? Mm. What they don't focus on is volume. Okay. Yes, it might take you a little longer to get that $4,000 in, mm -hmm. but you're going to have volume. Okay. You're going to create, you know, a great job that people are going to talk about, and you're going to get another client and another client. And another uh, client. Okay, yeah. You see what I mean? I see, yeah. People focus, like some of these people that got in trouble, mm -hmm. um, they focus too much on how much money am I going to get out of this one job. I see. You know, at the end of the day, that's not what that's not what it's about. Okay. You know, yeah, it's about making money, paying your bills, taking care of your right, family. Right, right. But it's about growing a business. Okay. It's about putting a name out there that people are going to say, hey, 
that guy does a great job. So what's an appropriate number for you to actually keep to, you know, live and pay your, your people off of if I give you a $7,000 budget? Uh, I would say anywhere between 18 to 20%. Okay. And that's after be paying myself. The business has mm. to profit. The business oh, yeah. has to make. Yeah, definitely. You know, so my, my paycheck's in there. Yeah. You know, um, I caught something that you said earlier in the conversation, and, and I love this, by the way. Thank you so much for being candid. I mean, you know. But, um, you know, I... I you mentioned that there were some of either your friends or people that you knew that you saw, you know, going through all that, right? What what role did you play in um, either smoothing things out or did you just pretty much mind your business? No. Because I mean, if they're as close to you as you say they are, you know, what what role, I mean, did you try to, at the very least, you know, be like, hey, that person's not really like that? Or did you go to that person and say, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, two, two, two of my friends that happened to, and yeah. I called them and I was like, the fuck did you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were honest. Yeah. You know, and they were like, man, Things just got away from me. And yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, at the end of the day, if you fuck up, you fuck up. But yeah. just make it right. Sure. You know, you running away, it's not it's not going to make things right, right. or it's going to help your situation. Okay. Because now you're blasted all over Facebook. Yeah. Now you don't have work. Do you find it necessary to to defend them publicly or do you just no. kind of stay out of it? Yeah. No, because at the end of the day, there's two there's two stories. Sure. You know, there's, there's there's two sides. So yeah, and I, you know, one thing about me, Fernando, I always believe too. Like I, I will, um, I'll defend my people publicly and then tell them they fucked up privately. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm right. not, yes, I'm not about like, and I specifically like when I say that, I specifically talk about like my brothers, right? Shout out to Jaime Mar. Like if the like if there's a situation where people are attacking them. You're attacking us then. Correct. But then if I know you did something wrong when we get like when we get together, I'm gonna be like, okay, listen, let's have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you know what and, I mean? And that's how yeah. I am, man. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> a lot of people know me in Waco and they'll tell you, if you got a problem with me, mm -hmm. come talk to me. Sure. You know, let's let's eat a burrito, let's fucking drink a beer. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Talk to me. Like, okay. what's what is the deal? Well, they don't want to do that no more. Everybody's acting yeah. like bitches. Yeah. It drives me crazy. But you doing all this shit in circles, yeah. telling so and so. I don't know if you ever heard that the analogy like you know, if you if you start spreading the story around, by the time that story comes back out, they add it. People, it's called add telephone. It. Yes. the game is called telephone. They added other yes. bullshit in there. By the okay. time they comes down here to you, you're sure. like, wait a minute. Yeah. Have you seen Have you seen any of your? Because I I just have to say personally, like I mean, it's no secret. Like I've had people sponsor the show that have went through that, um, and you know, we are friends. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And I I didn't see them to be. Um, thieves or whatever the case is because my experience with them personally is different. different. Uh, one of my friends who is a contractor recently just went through the same shit. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe him to be a thief. I don't believe him to be, you know what I mean? And, and we had this conversation at dinner the other day and I said, damn, you know, it's unfortunate. This is not going to be the last time that it happens because you do one thing wrong in somebody's eyes and they just, they just, they get at you. Yes. Do you know what it I mean? Follows you. So um, I guess it leads me to say, um, have you ever um, seen any of your I should say peers because you guys are in the same business, right? Or maybe, I don't know if peers is a loose term. But um, have you seen anybody go through that that, and you know that that's not what really happened? Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. And uh, same thing. I don't really like, I defend them, but yeah. privately. Private, okay. I don't necessarily put myself out there defending them because... At the end of the day, I got to look out for myself. Well, you know, I don't want to put myself hard in a situation. It's hard because it's... Yeah, no, see, I defend publicly. I'm that, yeah. I'm that bitch. And so, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, I'll tell you, you fucked up privately if you truly did. That's what I want everybody to understand. You yes, know what I mean? Yeah. And so I, if you really did fuck something up, I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, but if I see a pack of people going after somebody that I care about, I'm defending my you're person. And you, you're going to get at both of us. And I'm, I'm very vicious. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of you bitches made it because of the show. Because <laughs> I can't be doing that all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. So, um. I guess in most cases, what would you say is the is the percentage wise in terms of the contractor truly st stealing? Is that a strong term? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Or, or like, I, I don't know. Okay. The contractor not stealing, um, pocketing the majority of the money versus it being a big, big misunderstanding. Do you think what weighs what outweighs more than the other in your in your particular instance? <sighs> Like in, in, your, in, your, in your particular opinion, excuse me. In my opinion, like yeah. in situations like we talked about, I think it's pocketing the money. You think it's pocketing the money? Yeah. Okay. Because at the end of the day, that's that's like we like I said, that's that's the problem. Okay, it's gotcha. the money part. Mm. You know. <sighs> Don't you hate money? It is, I mean, it's, <laughs> money yeah. money fucks up a lot of things, man. Yeah. It fucks up a lot of relationships. Fucks up, but fucks yourself up. Yeah. You know, some people can't handle how to how to not. That it gets you let go into money, like not yeah. let go, like not go all into money for sure, for sure. Know? Yeah, and, and it's a thick 
situation to be into because I like not don't get me wrong like I, we see it happen all the time and I've had contractors on this show and everybody's given their opinions and stuff like that but you know with, with you you know I not that I agree with everything but it is I, I appreciate your candidness you know what I mean yeah. it, it sounds like you would know more you know what I mean because you're actually in the business yeah. you know what I mean so, so do, do people ever try to get you because you know what else drives me crazy too though and so like when that person is getting blasted and then there's other business well you should have just did it with me 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 <laughs> what like you know what I mean? Like yes. yo, y'all some hoes. Like, <laughs> like I'm sorry, y'all some ho ass bitches, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, it, the competitive is crazy, man. Okay. Like, it, it, the shit they say is. I mean, I, I've even had people say bad things about me, mm -hmm. you know. And then when I actually meet the client, or after the client actually hired me, they're like, "Hey, man, these people said this and this about okay. you," and I, I'm shocked because so, some of these people that say things, yeah, are like people that I consider. Your Good friends. friends. Yeah, yeah. You know? Fernando, let, let's jump right into that then. Because, see, it all goes hand in hand. It does. Right? It all goes hand in hand. So all these people that maybe I'm referencing, you know what I mean? Like, I, I see them different than that. But in this case, a lot of people, for some reason, felt the need to tear you down. Why? <laughs> what did you do to people? <laughs> Besides sit down and piss. Like, what the hell did you do to people? <laughs> I, you know, um, I have a fiance. Sure. And I was who's I, gorgeous. Uh, Shout out to her. I, I stalked uh, her yesterday. Yes, I did. <laughs> but uh, man, that was one of the things that I, I, uh, I just went through something a few weeks ago. Okay, you know. Do and, you want to share or not? Uh, you could share. It's okay. Really, like, really, really close friend that I, I thought mm. he was my friend. Okay, you know. And then went out and spread a rumor mm. that was false. Uh, sure. You know. And man, it tore me down a little bit. Wow. Because I was like. He, he was really close to yeah, me, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like we 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 exchanged things. We we told a little bit about each other, personal, blah, 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 you okay. know, try to help him up. And then for him to go and lie mm. and say those things about you, I, I, I told my fiance, I was like, why? It's hurtful. Like, what, you know, for mm -hmm. what reason? So, man, uh, that I think after reading a little bit, what I think is is that people are not happy with themselves, man. Agreed. They, they're just... I don't think it's jealousy. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're jealous of you. I don't think that, you know, they really want to see you down there. Yeah. I just think they're not happy with themselves. Right. Or they don't know how to get themselves to a place where they're happy. Yeah. So what do they do? They, they tear you down. Well, and then you know, and, they and, want you at their level. Exactly. And then in, in most cases, too, because I've seen this, you know, people are really good at writing the coattails of other people. I, I've seen this happen more than once. And so, you know, they, they get to where they are by using you to get as high as you can and then move on to and, the next. Exactly. Betraying you in the process. Exactly. <laughs> you know so I, i've seen it happen to some of my close friends it's definitely happened to me i just shared a post about it this morning this business that i'm in is a lonely yeah it's a very lonely business so you know and, and i put in the post i reference my brothers a lot hi man morrow because they're the only ones that them and their families are the only ones that i feel like god i can like 100 percent confide in you guys i know you guys have my back but there's people who are only my friend to read the benefits of free shit and look you know what <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm gonna keep it raw with you yeah there's a per i'm not even gonna say the person's name but there's a person that was on your show okay and when you first started this show oh they, he talked so much shit about you and he, he talked about you oh are you i talked shit he, about wait. no no he talked so much shit about you doing this podcast is it my boss uh no, no, no <laughs> not your boss and i felt this jealousy energy as okay. what you were doing what you were doing mm -hmm. and then he tried to do what you're doing, and it sure. didn't work out for him. So can I can I tell you? Um, oh God, maybe, and yeah. Oh my God, do you think? Do you I think? Mean, that's okay. That's okay. You know, it was. You're not the first person that has said that to me. It's crazy, man. And so and that and but that's that's let's just fucking talk about it then because you brought it up, right? <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I've had people on this show, and, and listen, I don't regret any episode that I've done. You know, everybody comes over here. I don't pay a person to come over here. They give me their time to create content for our community. But I've definitely had people on the show where people have messaged me later on and said, yo, this person was talking mad shit about yes. you. This person always said that you were this, that, and the third, and then now they're on your show. Right. But then the thing is, you know what my best friend has always said? Shout out to fucking coach Maro Maldonado. You know what he's taught me? Whatever's not directed is not respected. Correct. That's exactly, he taught Correct. me that. And so you talked all, allegedly, because I don't know what's true and what's not. 
right? And so and at this point, it's, it's really irrelevant to me because it was never directed to me. And then there's people that I've had on the show who I've had falling outs with. You know what I mean? There's people that have been on the show who we just don't fuck with each other anymore. Right. You know, and, and that's just the way of life. That's, right. But but that's what I talk about, Fernando. When I, and, it may, and maybe this can relate to you as well, is that this business is a lonely business. Correct. Because while everybody sees the, oh, top podcaster in Waco, and oh, you, you know, everybody knows who you are, this and that. People have used me to get where they want to be. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's about face because then it's like the purpose of you coming on this show is to give exposure to whatever you've got going right. on. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. So you're not the first person that's. And, and, and yeah. but that, that just shows you that it's yeah. not just in my line of work. It's yeah. in your line. Of, it's in everybody's line Absolutely. of work. I yeah. mean, everybody that has a bit has a business out there. They're yeah. alone. Yeah. And you know, you don't just got to face. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't just got to face. Uh, the money part and yeah. the financing part and the family part and taking care of your family, yeah, taking care of work. Yeah. But you also got to face all these fake ass fucking people that yeah. want to use you yeah. to get where they want to get and then trash you. you. You know what though too, bro? Like, and, and I appreciate, again, I, I appreciate how real you are. I yeah. do. Um, but for me, um, if I focus too much on who's fake and who's real, I, I wouldn't get anywhere. I, when I started this podcast, uh, you know, and even in my business and media, like I, I've encountered so many people that way. Do you know what I mean? I've encountered so many people that are like that. And you just kind of, like, move, you move on. Yeah. You have to. Because then I, then I can't do the show because it's bothering me. Well, <laughs> you know what? You know what? On yeah. that note, I'm just going to go ahead and say it out here, man. Like, to anybody that's watching this show, man, uh, fucking stop. Yeah. Stop the lies. Stop your bullshit. Get your shit together. Do, do what you want to do, but stop bringing people down with it. Yeah. Like, you know, just, you can do it. If you, if you will spend... That much energy on focusing on how you're going to grow versus you trying to tear somebody down, I promise you, you're going to get somewhere. Say it louder for the people in the back. You know what I mean? Like, I I read this phrase the other day that said, uh, man, people are so focused on finding mud Mm -hmm. in you, the muddy situations in you, and not finding their gold in their life. And it's true. It's true. It's true. It is true. I've said the same thing, Fernando. You know, I definitely say you hit the nail on the head. You honestly did. You know what I mean? And, and that goes to me to ask you, you know, I, I was going to ask if you've dealt with leeches in your business, but it turns out you have. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just said a mouthful. <laughs> Do you find it sad um, losing friends in your business? Do you think that it's all worth it? Uh, no, man, because at the end of the day, you know, some people show you the true colors. Mm-hmm. And once they do that, you learn from that. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it makes you grow a little bit. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. But it makes you grow a little bit more. As a business person, sure. you know, or as an individual, period. Or, I mean, it, it's even helping me teach my son how to encounter things when th- people like this yeah. happen. Oh, my, and my daughter. And then, so then it's hard because then it, it, it goes between business and personal, right? Correct. And so it makes you have this guard up. But then, like, I, I'm so weird when it comes to that because like so I, and again i reference my best friend a lot like he's always had a guard up with people because he's been through a lot of betrayal in his life right and then um you know for me like you just said <laughs> same you know what i mean like people use me and i i don't feel like it's fair like to have a guard up with you because you never did anything right. to me. do you see what i'm saying right. but then there's there's those people who create a guard up against everybody because they don't know who to trust do you know what i mean yeah. and so it's a, it's a sad situation to be in unfortunately yeah. and well so, i mean I mean, as much as it sucks, you can't do that, though, because then you yeah. might miss an, an opportunity. An opportunity to meet somebody great. Somebody great. So that's why Morrow is my best friend, because you know how many people told me that nigga wasn't shit when I met him <laughs> three years ago, and that he was going to betray me, and that he was this, that, and the third, and now we're the we're brothers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll, I'll fight the world with that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know a great guy. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? I do. And so anyway, yeah, I, I've definitely dealt with that in this business. I've had people. I know I'm not naive to knowing that I've had people on the show who don't think the best Oh, of man. Me. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I shoot you now. When I watch that show i was fucking you're gonna laughing to, you're gonna have to tell me after the show i, oh, I will I'm, i was <laughs> laughing i was like you two-faced mother I, I like if there was if we could like talk in the show or you, you know how you used to call in the show i would have been like hey uh that motherfucker's lying to you he's lying to me boy he's lying to you no well okay and we might be talking about different people but i did i i i did have people t- <coughs> i did have people tell me Excuse you me. know yo this person used to talk mad shit about you you should do that though have them back on and you, you should be like, I'm taking a call in. Okay. Uh, you know, I know if we did I'm live streams, if up. we did live streams, we did no, because you okay, because let me let me be honest with you too. Like, honestly, and this is why I don't like to like entertain, and this is why I'm not even gonna ask you who it is on camera because then it's gonna start a bunch of shit, right? But the thing is too, is that I mean I never wanted this show to be like um 
<laughs> the stereotypical like trash talking oh he's gay so it's all about the cheese man you know what i mean yeah. and let's blast people blah 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 i didn't want it to be like that has it been like that yes. yes have i had to apologize to people absolutely do you know what i mean like i've said shit on this show about people that i have to take back because yeah. it's, it's distasteful and i learned that growing as an individual as an interviewer as a podcaster you know what i mean as somebody who's looked up to by children yeah. there's kids that come up to me and like oh i, I want to be like you i want to be on your show you know what i mean like, i can't be doing that shit you know, if that's how you want to get ahead in your game and your business by just tearing people down, talking shit about them and being all about the gossip and the cheating, bitch, we're, nigga, we're in our fucking 30s and 40s. Grow no. the fuck up. Like, grow the fuck up. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just me. So I, I don't really focus too much on stuff like that. But no, I appreciate you saying that to me. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, Fernando, damn, is there anything else you need to get off your chest? Or are you good? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> So business is going, you got, <laughs> thank you. You got I Want Water LLC, you've got Wooden Thumb Handyman Services, you've got all these different names for things that sounds like to me kind of like do the same thing. So so can we clarify why so, so many different names and yeah. So what, so Premier One Painting uh, no longer exists. So sure. I, I, Premier One Painting bought out Wooden Thumb. Oh, okay. I bought out Wooden Thumb from a, a Mike Morissette, amazing guy. Mm -hmm, sure. um, he did a bunch of little handyman stuff. Mm -hmm. So I took it to the next level. Yeah. I, did, I wanted to do renovations, commercials, you know. So that's what Wooden Thumb does. Okay. Wooden Thumb does a bunch of renovations, remodeling, uh, additions. Sure. Stuff like that. And, yeah. and, and we still incorporated that handyman service. Okay. Like, I have... I have people that call me to change their filters. Oh, I have uh, I have this lady that uh, lives alone in Waco. She doesn't have family, mm -hmm. and she's seventy five now. Oh, okay. And the other day, I went and changed the batteries on her remote. She couldn't oh, figure wow. it out. Okay, you know, damn, you charge her for that? I do, I do. Oh, okay, you know, I like mean, 10 minutes, uh, like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but she, she's a she's a really good customer of. Uh, okay, got and you. She literally she told me the other day. I swear, you like my you like my son. Mm. Like I need, she has a. Whole little list mm -hmm. by the end of the month of stuff that she needs done. Yeah, yeah. You know, around the house, et cetera. Okay. Um, and then Awa Water, uh, I started that two years ago. I actually went to school. I wanted to start a restoration business. Oh, sure. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know what that is, but is it like refurbishing and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, like so when your okay. house when your house floods, when your house catches on fire. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, then we restore the property to its normal state. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then I incorporated the roofing part. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I did that <clears throat> is because we were doing a lot of roofing for other contractors in Waco. Roofing oh, sure. was not our thing. Yeah. I've always done roofing. I've been around roofing my whole life. Yeah. It was just never something that I was like, ah, I want to do it. Gotcha. You know? mm -hmm. And finally, I, you know, I woke up one day and I was like, no. I, if I'm going to do the roof, I'm going to do it under my name. Okay, gotcha. I'm no longer going to do it under somebody, somebody else's else. Somebody else, right. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, and... And you know, I don't. I don't feel like I'm taking anything away from anybody. I yeah, just, man. you know, want my own. Just my. Fernando, and do you think you're a hard pill to swallow? Fuck. <laughs> I guess. I like you though. <laughs> I do like you. I think we need more people like you. Yeah. No geisha. I mean, I because I, 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 when I say I like a guy, all of a sudden I want to sleep with him, right? Like, no, I, <laughs> I like you. You're very, you're very cut. Not cut. Oh my god, that's the wrong term. You're very headstrong. Yeah. Did you did you have to learn to be like that, or were you always like that? No man, so uh, I don't. A lot of, I don't know if a lot of people know this about me, but mm -hmm. I, I had a daughter that that was killed by a drunk driver. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm yeah, so sorry to hear that. She was she was uh, two weeks from being three years old. Oh no! So the the irony on that is, mm -hmm. I was a. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I was a fuck up person. Mm -hmm. I I was just wild. You sure. know, I was crazy. You know, then my daughter was born. Okay. And changed my whole life. Yeah. And then she got taken away from me changed my whole life wow bro you know what i mean and then um in 2020 is when i actually bear she passed away in 2004 right, right in 2020 is when i actually started dealing with that mm -hmm. like i literally put it in the back burner you yeah. know i didn't want to see pictures of her i didn't want to sure. think of her nothing man in 2020 i discovered so much about myself mm -hmm. i discovered how much i was holding myself back yeah. you know what i mean not not necessarily like in business but and in everything, yeah. and the way I would talk to people, the way I would carry myself with people, it wasn't really me. You know what I mean? I it's like you. it's like you were holding back. So I learned a lot about myself, man. And I told myself from now on, I'm just gonna be straight to the point. Straight, okay. Like this is what it is. This yeah. is this you're gonna. This is who you're gonna get. Sure. You know. Sure. Raw and cut to the ha, point. Has it been beneficial for you in business? Oh yes. It has. Okay. It has, man. Yeah. And and I've come to uh, 
make some great friends from it too. Right. You know, and when I was going through my process of therapy and all of that, dealing with that, I met some people that that was going through a similar situation. Not necessarily because they lost a kid, but sure. they were just in a very they were stuck. Yeah. You know, they were stuck there and they didn't know how to get out of it. Gotcha. So yeah, man, I I, I think that's why I'm at. That's why I think the way I think now. Yeah, yeah. Because I finally just deal with that. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. Well, th- th- thanks for sharing that with us. I'm sure that was something really hard to go through. Oh, and, you know, my condolences to you and your yeah. family. And, you know, it's only, it hasn't been too long. And so, I mean, uh, you guys, you're okay? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, okay. it, uh, people say time time heals, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Man, yeah, uh, yeah you, like all, that, you always yeah. think about it. You just learn how to cope with it. Now. <sighs> That's Gosh. it, you know? Well, Fernando, I hope that we have built a friendship. I really, I truly, I, I, I like to have people like you in my life. I like yeah. to have, you know, like I said, my best friend, he's, he's like you, that, very direct. Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I'm like, you bitch. But it's true. Yeah. You need to have people like that in your life that are going to give it to you raw. Not like that. But you know, that, that are going to, that are going <laughs> to, that's how you get sick. That, that, that are going to, no, like that are going to be honest with you, but because they love you and they call it tough love. Yeah. You know what I mean? And tough so, love, man. For yeah. Real. It's true. And it's, it's honestly gotten, it's honestly the reason why I continue to do this show today and why I still, because there's been times I want to throw in the towel. And so I think that whoever, I, I, would like to invite you into my life, and I hope nobody calls me saying that you were talking shit about me. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Though? This, this, this is where uh, where it goes. It boils down to like yeah. if that happens, I would I, call you. I w- exactly. I would call you. Yeah. I would be like, hey man. Well, I like to have conversations with people. Like I, I mentioned earlier in the show, like I've said things about people that I didn't even like really know, and then they found out. And I, I had to bite the bullet. Yeah. And I listen. My, my, I understand what I did. You saw it. There was clips. My bad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. have to do that, though. You, you got to take accountability. And it was distasteful. As a person, I had to learn from that, you know, yeah. several times. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people are on that same level. No. I, I think they're all about the drama. They're all about who's right and who's wrong. And if you fuck up, just own it. I fuck up. I fuck yeah, up. That's it. Own it. Well, guys, it goes without saying that Fernando Ramirez is probably one of the realest people that you can have in your life. So thank you again for coming on the show. Okay. Check. Fact I, check. I enjoyed this a hundred <laughs> times more than I thought I was going to. You were so open. I appreciate your candidness. You know, you're as real as they come. If we need restoration services, if we need handyman services, how are we getting in contact with you, or Fernando? Roofing. Or, or roofing. roofing or roofing. Okay. Um, pretty much um, you can go to my page on, on Facebook mm-hmm. or we have a website. Okay. And it's called Our Water roofing.com mm-hmm. a lot of people ask me too why i will water yeah i was gonna well, say if you think about it i will water is the main source of damage on anything True. water destroys everything yeah you know why do you have damage in your house water why do you have water. damage in your building water okay so that's why i call it i will water. and oh. spanish and english yeah yeah so uh, that's cute i was gonna know. say that it's cute yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well fernando thank you again so much for coming on to the public affair i truly appreciate you thank and you for having me. we'll grab a beer soon okay and talk more Sure. Because <laughs> it sounds like we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> okay. So to everybody that's tuned in, thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, I've got more of the public affair on the way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, you guys, of course, can always expect genuine and real and raw content like today's episode <laughs> now before we go i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to us by elite barbershop my boy sid rodriguez located on Hewitt drive you can call them on screen to book or download the squire app walk into welcome as well he has marcus guerrero chris reyes santos cordova david rodriguez isaac chavez clint fletcher isai reyes sam ceballos and kyle barry over there making you look as snackish as i have for more than almost 200 episodes of the public affair my boy sid is doing big things with his barbershop and has truly an elite team of barbers so thank you so much for all you do for me on the show bro I truly, truly appreciate you. Of course, and my boy, Jesus Sanchez from Mart, Texas, with Brothers Roofing and Remodeling, a small construction business. From, do you know him? Good guy. He's so great, isn't yes, he? I love guy. him. I love him so much. Specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. A lot of my people don't know him. <laughs> I'm happy that you know him. Yes. Protect your home from the crazy elements of the Texas weather with his high quality and affordable work. You can follow on Facebook and call the number on the screen to book with Brothers Roofing and Remodeling. He'll also remodel your home. Give your house the upgrade that you need. All right? So with Jesus Sanchez from Mart, Texas. And Fernando, you know, he only tells the truth. And so we, we recommend him. Well, you like it or not yes well, okay yeah. that's right <laughs> of course the Ana Limones with Hummingbird Party backdrops and decor call for our party decor including beautiful balloon props giving you extra flair to your party or event with a number of wooden backdrops and so much more balloon arches are in right now don't stress about designing the party decorating the party because my girl Ana Limones has got you she works overtime to do it call the number on the screen to book and do it so fast because she's booking out right she's booked and busy to Ana Limones thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair with Hummingbird Party backdrops and decor and of course my boy Jeffrey Morayo Pollo Box and Audio home for audio LED needs and audio accessories installation and stereos door speakers and audio systems he also special 
specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and so much more. Definitely, Jack. Why are you laughing? But uh, I'm enjoying this right here. I'm like, oh, you're like he's on it. Like, yeah, that's right. Definitely, Jack. Of all trades, your one stop shop to get everything done in one roof. He does the tent in my car, the starlights in my car, the backup camera, everything in my car that I have that's super lit is because of Jeffrey Monarch. I will play box and audio. Thank you so much for all you do for me and the show, bro. Of course, to everybody that tuned into this episode, I don't know if we're in trouble. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> no, but to, for, no, no, honestly, I don't want nobody saying that you were too extra, no nothing. I appreciate everything that you shared on this show. Yeah, I yeah. truly, I, I, you didn't come on here trying to portray yourself as anybody that you're not. You didn't come on here trying to protect your image. You came on here as real as you came, and that's all I asked. Yes, so sir. thank you, thank you so much for coming onto the show. I'm so glad to have met you, and it's truly to have you on the public affair. And don't forget to always keep it between us. <laughs> Just like we're about to do right now, because I'm about to ask you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, you're get, you're making me nervous. <laughs> you're making me very nervous. I'm gonna run to the bathroom here, right back. <laughs> no, I love it. Don't get me wrong. This is great. Are you good? Do you need anything? No, no, I'm good. Okay, I'll be right good. back. So like I said, <laughs> wait, cut this. I'm sorry. This was important. <laughs> you could cut this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a blue. <laughs> that was impressive, Andrew. Thank you. Boy, you, you get after it. I know. I I, I try. Um, you know what? <laughs> I tell you what, it's definitely different seeing it like on the video than seeing it in person. In person, okay. I mean, you went off. Were you in awe? Like, were you I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I didn't mean to take that. That I usually have my, this is unprofessional. I usually have my phone off, but something important is going on right now. So, oh, I, yeah, right. No, but we're good. We're getting into the interview. <laughs> okay, <that's it. laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah, man. It Great good. show. Thank Great you. show. Oh, yeah, you... Dude, seeing you live is different. Is it? <laughs> like, you know, when you watch it, because yeah. when you watch it, it's, it's like seeing you in person and do your thing is 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 different, Crazy, right? you know. <laughs> this has been a Rogue Media Network production. <laughs>